PMO Activity Setup. UDOT Project Development, in conjunction with the regions and other partners, created the Project Management Office, PMO, to assist project teams in planning and completing pre-construction projects. This video tutorial instructs project team members how to complete the Activity Setup process. The Activity Setup process begins when you receive an email from the project manager of your project team. The email will list all the new activities the project manager has assigned you, the project PIN number, and provide a due date. This due date represents the latest date at which the activity setup process should be completed. Follow the link in the email to the PMO. Use your standard network username, not email, and password to log in. You will automatically be directed to the activity setup page once you have logged in. You can always access the activity setup page by using the navigation boxes on the left. The navigation menu is the same on all screens, so moving from screen to screen is simple. All screens in the PMO have page specific help at the top right. All tutorial videos and documentation can be found under help tools to the left. Notice the activity setup page auto defaults to your name and to the project referenced in the email. The first drop-down box always defaults to your name but permits the selection of other PMO users. Access is limited to project teams. Teams are managed by your supervisor. The second drop-down allows you to select the project. You will only be able to access projects in which you are assigned a task. Below the two drop-down boxes is the selected project box. The selected project box displays the project PIN number, project start date, project manager, and project checkout status. If the project is checked in, nothing will be displayed and you can set up your activities. If the project is checked out, the PMO displays to whom the project is checked out and the time and date at which it was checked out. Contact the person who checked out the project and kindly ask them to check the project in. Activity setup cannot be completed while the project is checked out. The page will have to be reloaded once the project has been checked in. All the tasks that have been assigned to you in the selected project will be listed under Manage Tasks. For each task, enter the estimated task duration in days. PMO only uses working days. There are five working days in a standard work week. To the right, enter the total number of hours anticipated to complete that task. Please provide both figures as they are both used in the schedule. Repeat this process for each task. Please be accurate when entering duration and hours. Do not pad your task durations. The project manager has anticipated contingency time in the schedule. The PMO activity setup screen allows project team members to delegate and reassign tasks. To reassign a task, delete your name and begin typing the new task lead's name. A drop-down box will appear listing all the names that match your search criteria. Select the name of the new task lead. Task resources can also be added to tasks by typing their name into the task resource field. If additional task resources are needed, you may select add a resource or add multiple resources. Contact PMO support regarding how to use the add multiple resource tool. Tasks resources represent people who are associated with completing the tasks. However, the task lead is ultimately responsible for completing the task. When users are reassigned to the task lead or added to a task as a task resource, they will receive an activity setup email from the PMO. Project managers may assign a subtask to you. Subtasks are tasks grouped under a summary task. To see all the tasks under a summary task, select View Subtasks. Subtasks should be configured like normal tasks. Once you have completed configuring all your tasks, remember to select Save All Tasks. If you do not select Save All Tasks, your edits will be lost.
If you feel a task in the schedule is too complex or needs to be broken into small tasks to accurately predict duration, you can add subtasks. When you add subtasks to a task, you create a summary task. To add subtasks, select Add Subtask. Name the subtask. Enter the duration. Save the subtask by once again selecting Add Subtask. The system will then process and save the new subtask. You can add as many subtasks as needed, but they can only be deleted by the project manager. Note, communication is critical when working with schedules. Inform the project manager after making subtasks and work with each other to ensure the tasks properly fit into the schedule. We thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial and complete the activity setup process. Feel free to contact PMO support with any questions. Our contact information is found under Help Tools.